Hey guys, just wanted to jump on here for a few moments and share with you words that the Father just shared with me today. Just words from the heart of your Father. I just feel such a strong presence of the Lord upon me to release this. You know, as I went through the day today, He began speaking to me these words, tear the roof off. And I want you to go with me for a moment now to the scene. Just imagine it for a moment when Jesus was preaching in the house and it was a full house completely overflowing to where no one else could fit in. They could probably even barely see his face. And here come four friends carrying their paralyzed friend because they knew, they knew that where the healing was going to come from, they knew their friend was going to receive his healing from Jesus and they had to get him there. Their faith was taking him to Jesus. And when they got there, their faith ran up against an obstacle. And I know that I'm talking to someone right now. Your faith has ran up against an obstacle just like theirs. But they didn't let that stand in their way. Their faith continued to get up and it continued to do something. Their faith became aggressive. So aggressive. They got on the roof and they tore it off so they could lower their friend down to get him to Jesus, to receive what he had for him. They tore the roof off Jesus' house because they knew that God wanted to heal this man. And, and indeed, Jesus did. He truly did. He healed him. He restored him. He saved him. He saw their faith. And many times your faith runs up against some obstacles just like theirs did. You may run up against walls of doubt, walls of hindrance. Sometimes you may be going through some mental gymnastics day after day. But let that tear the roof off kind of faith rise up in you right now. Whatever it is that you are praying for, whatever it is that you need God to do, let that tear the roof off faith begin to rise up within you. Don't say, well, I know that God can, but now is not my time. Or, you know, they could have easily said that themselves when they took their paralyzed friend, but they didn't. They didn't say, well, it must not be your time for your healing or, you know, better luck next time. They tore the roof off to get to Jesus. They didn't let anyone or anything stand in their way. And I want to encourage you and empower you today, whatever it is that you're praying for, whatever it is that you need God to move in, tear the roof off. Don't let anyone or anything stop you. The woman with the issue of blood, she suffered 12 long years, but she crawled through that crowd to get to him for just one touch of the hem of his garment, and she was made completely whole, and she knew that within her spirit. That's all that it took. Zacchaeus, a man of such little stature, could not even see him, but he found the highest tree that he could climb up in to get to Jesus. They did not let anything or anyone stand in their way. Bartimaeus, who had been blind from his birth, he heard that King Jesus was passing by, and he cried out all the more, and he did not let anyone silence him. He kept crying out that sweet, precious name of Jesus to have mercy upon him. And he surely did. And I just feel this so very strongly. There is such a wonderful and mighty presence of the Lord that is just overshadowing me right now. And I just release it to each and every one that is listening to this message that it will overshadow you, that the fresh oil from the throne will begin to flow, the fresh fire will begin to go from one to the other. In Jesus' mighty name, release it, Lord, right now, release it over the airways. What I am feeling, what has just completely consumed me, let it consume everyone that is listening to this message straight from your heart in Jesus mighty name release it now Lord I pray release it now as we activate as we activate this tear the roof off kind of faith knowing that whatever obstacle we meet you are there Lord to move it out of the way we say to these mountains be thou moved we are calling out for the healings, the deliverances right now. 
Lord, I am tearing the roof off right now for each and every person listening to this message right now. I am tearing the roof off and I am lowering them down before you with their needs, whatever it may be. Lord, if it be healing, if it be deliverance, if it be that prodigal son, Lord, or daughter, Whatever the need may be, whether it may be financial, whether it may be their marriage, Lord, I am lowering them down before you, tearing the roof off and asking you to move mightily upon their behalf. Speak the word right now in Jesus' mighty name as our faith unites that tear the roof off kind of faith. Hallelujah to your mighty name that tear the roof off kind of faith. Let it arise right now in the atmosphere. In Jesus' mighty name as we come together in unity. Knowing that he will do abundantly above all that we ask or think. Let your mighty words go forth, Lord. And accomplish that and establish that which you have set them forth to do, they shall not fall, not single one to the ground without being accomplished. Hallelujah to the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, you do the work right now as I felt this message needed to be released. And I release it upon each and every one listening today, Lord. There shall be breakthroughs, miracles, signs, and wonders in your mighty name. I pray, do it, Lord, go forth now in Jesus' mighty name. And we never fail to give you the praise. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. I pray right now for each and every one listening to this message. I tear that roof off for you and let our faith unite. That whatever it is that we are bombarding heaven's doors for, knocking on the doors of heaven continuously in the midnight hour, bombarding heaven's gates. Lord, you see that I need this healing. Lord, you see that my child needs this deliverance. Lord, you see the needs Hallelujah. I pray that they come forth speedily in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Such a strong presence of the Lord. It has just ignited me with a fire so very strongly coursing through my veins and just tears filling my eyes because He is in the midst right now and He is doing and He is releasing some mighty things. Let that tear the roof off kind of faith arise right now in every city, in every nation. Don't let nothing or no one stop you. Don't let nothing or no one silence you. And when your faith runs up against an obstacle, when it runs up against the devil trying to stand in your path, you look him square in the eye and you say, I will go through the roof if I have to. Because in Jesus' name, God is moving on your behalf. I pray a blessed a blessed and fire-filled day for each and every one of you. Hey guys, just wanted to jump on here for a few moments and share with you words that the Father just shared with me today. Just words from the heart of your Father. I just feel such a strong presence of the Lord upon me to release this. You know, as I went through the day today, he began speaking to me these words, tear the roof off. And I want you to go with me for a moment now to the scene. Just imagine it for a moment when Jesus was preaching in the house and it was a full house, completely overflowing to where no one else could fit in. They could probably even barely see his face. And here come four friends carrying their paralyzed friend because they knew, they knew that where the healing was going to come from, they knew their friend was going to receive his healing from Jesus and they had to get him there. Their faith was taking him to Jesus. And when they got there, their faith ran up against an obstacle. And I know that I'm talking to someone right now. Your faith has ran up against an obstacle just like theirs. But they didn't let that stand in their way. Their faith continued to get up.